it's another Mega Mailbag. I've got some parts in here for repairs I've got to do. There should be some interesting things in this that I look at, so stick around. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon as well. All the usual stuff. Thumbs up if you like it. The desk is a bit of a mess right now. I've been doing some projects I'm working on. I'm building these modules over here. This is part of my FarmTech Time Interface project. I finally sat down and actually started building a whole bunch of them. I need a bunch of them for doing shows. Anyway, we'll get on with this. Thanks to my Patreon supporters. Their contributions help me to uh, buy things. Where the hell is it? There we go. All right. Just the other side. Oh, come on, I'll give up. Packaged up way too well. What? What is this? Ah, okay. This is a Wi-Fi module for MacBook. Let's have a close look at it, see if it looks okay. Seems to be. Not seeing anything of particular concern. Doesn't look spotless. Let's look at the back. Just looking for residue and stuff like that. Ah, oh, it looks okay. So it's probably all right. BCM94331 PCEI, sorry, IE, BT4. It's a Bluetooth 4 module, apparently. So this module is to fix this MacBook I've got sitting over here, which I'm going to show you again. I've had it sitting here waiting for me to get round to it to finish fixing it. In here is a spare battery for this machine, which I've ordered recently and that arrived in a previous mail bag. Need the Wi-Fi module. I'm also waiting for a new flex. This thing here. So I hope that comes too. And that module goes inside this housing here. I strip this back to get into it. But, uh, this has got a liquid damage. The flex is liquid damage, and I tried to repair it, but it still hasn't worked. So I don't know if it's the module or if it's the flex. Both of them were damaged. I repaired damage from both, but it's uh, it's still not come back to life. So I have to buy some new ones. Well, this took a long time to arrive. I must give up on these. So we've got some momentary tactile switches of different heights. I think we've got 18 and 22 and 15 or something like that. I've, I've got a few different ones here, which are these some 22s. And then ironically, I managed to get some from somewhere else as well while I was waiting. And actually, basically finished. This is what they're for, to go in here. But I also bought these button tops. Let's have a look at these. See how these fit. The idea is that I'll put it on the end of these stalks. Yeah, <laughs> might require gluing on. But yeah, the idea of that is that I can actually put the, have a nice button on the top instead of just the, the pointy shaft sticking out. But I'll put it to shorten these shafts down, get the length exactly I need, so it sits this nicely. And that then gives a nice push button instead of just a, a shaft sticking out. It's just a little detail, it doesn't really matter that much. I just really got them as an option. There'll be links for these things down below as always. There's always links for the products I'm buying. So you can check those out down below in the description. The affiliate links help me to fund the channel and buy items and things like that as well. So that's also very helpful in that way. So I appreciate if you use them. You don't have to buy the thing I'm linked to, you can always buy something else. Just use the link to get there. Yeah. These are replacement LED lights. Now I've got these in on the front of a couple of my vehicles, and I've got them in the motorhome as uh, daytime running lights. It's got a couple, one each corner on the bottom. They're one watt LEDs, and they actually work quite well. However, I've been having problems with one in particular on the motorhome failing. It failed last year, failed again this year. I actually use all my spares. I always get spares. Thankfully, I can still get them, so I bought a bunch more. Um, on my car, they're still working fine. But yeah, the motorhome is a 24 volt system and I've actually got that dropping down. I've got a buck converter in there to drop it down to a safer voltage for these things. Maybe it needs readjusting, I don't know. Powered up, shall we show you? So you go, I've got it powered up. You can see the kind of beam pattern it puts out. My bench lighting here is really bright, so um, it's you know washing out somewhat. But it gives you an idea, it's like a, here's a spread beam, so it's quite a wide angle. And it's using 82 milliamps at 12 volts. If I go down to 10 volts, it's 41. 13s, 100. 14s, 122. Yeah, so it does actually have a bit of tolerance in there. I think it's supposed to go to 15 volts, something like that, from Variety. I don't like to run things too high out. Big snap below. Not quite through yet. Well, techno fix. So these are some spare parts. I don't actually need these yet though. I, I got them in case I needed them, whilst I could get them. So we have some press buttons. These are brand new, never used. And these are supposed to be for the Marconi um, 2022 
and the 2955. So the communication tester and the IF second generator, the other way around. I showed the 2955 recently. Actually, no, you haven't seen it yet. No, oh, no, you haven't seen it yet. It's published, but my Patreons have access. You don't have access yet. They'll be coming out later in the week. <clears throat> so if you want to see that earlier, become a Patreon. My better videos, I'll, I'll give them the Patreons first. They get the sneak peek beforehand. Anyway, so yeah, these are the push buttons I used on the Marconis. And I seem to have got a bunch of them. The seller on eBay had a bunch of them. I thought, well, I'll get 15 because they're fairly expensive. I'll get 15 and um, we'll see how that goes. But I didn't even need them. The, all the buttons are working okay on the 2955 and on my 2022. So if I do get buttons failing in the future, at least I've got some spares for that when that does actually happen. I also don't get a whole bunch of them go at the same time because there's loads of buttons. I ordered a couple of things and one of the things isn't in stock, which is a shame. Anyway, I just got some more solder because, you know, why not? Now I thought I bought a lifetime supply of solder already. Turns out, no, I probably haven't. This has already gone down a noticeable amount compared to two roll sizes there. So I'm thinking, yeah, I'll probably do want to get some more. I want to stock up on it because being lead solder, who knows, maybe, you know, in a year's time it gets banned or something, who knows. So this is SN62. Now I believe these are exactly the same as one I've already got, actually, let's check. No, these are smaller. So the one I've got here is SN62 5C 0.56mm and these are 0.46mm, so it's even finer. But that's good because I actually want some fine stuff because for years I've been using quite thick, I mean not this thick, I've been using thinner than this, this is 1.2mm. I'm still trying to use this one to get rid of it, basically. Anything which doesn't require this fineness, I'm still trying to get rid of it, but um, you can never have too many selections of solder. You always need it eventually. No harm in stocking up on it, I'm always going to use it. Well, it took a while to arrive too. These are male single line headers and female as well. These are rolled like machine pin rather than the other type. So these are more compressed, shorter profile. I was going to use these in my project on these. I've got this header standing off here in order to reduce the height inside the box. And I was looking at these pins, and the height of the pin actually wasn't that much better, but these ones actually be right. These ones are smaller. So the other pins I was using, the other header pins, are quite long. And so I wasn't actually going to gain anything by having the, a shorter head on here. But now these are bloody right, of course. I haven't finished building the things yet. It's a shame. I was actually going to use these on here. I was going to use machine pins and just reduce the height. But never mind, it's too late now. I've built them. I've got sick of waiting. The show, because of the whole situation worldwide right now, post is being delayed in some cases. Sometimes it's actually really fast. I've had stuff arrive very quickly, I've also had stuff take months. Obviously it depends region by region, but uh, yeah, can't do much about that, had to live with it, that's all. Yeah. Okay, these are some little bumpers for my Ender 3 3D printer. You go over the nozzle, so the nozzle sticks at the bottom, and this goes over the top of it. Just to help stop uh, material sticking to it and that sort of stuff, helps to insulate. I think I mentioned previously where my existing one got caught on something, it's, it's actually the original one that came with the printer. It's like a um, fiberglass uh, matting, I suppose. It fell off and actually been printing better without it. So I'm not even sure I'm going to put these on. We'll see. These things took about two months to arrive. Something like that. So I've had lots of things like that being delayed. Not important stuff. It's, you know, if it's important, I'll get it locally. If I need it quickly. But generally, I can wait. Aha. Excellent. So... These are the Wi-Fi flex cables, although they've bent them over. Well, that one's bent over anyway. Um, and that one is also... I ran across it with my bloody cutter. Uh-oh. <laughs> I might have destroyed that one. Didn't think I was that harsh with it. Anyway, so we've got this one here at least. <laughs> Let's have a look at this, see if I, if I screwed this one up already by opening it. What do you reckon? Hmm. I don't know. Does that like get increased? I suppose I could try it and find out, but yeah, it's not great. I didn't, th I didn't think I did that much. Mm. So yeah, I've got two, because it always helps to have two. I always get more than I need in case I need another one. Well, in this case, it looks like it's a good thing, because I've been waiting for this for over a month. Oh well.
come on. Seriously? What's a hole? Oh, that way. No way. Here we go. Right. There needs to be a spoiler what's coming up because I haven't published a video yet. People who watched my live stream a couple of weeks ago would have seen it, but other people may not. Now, these are relays, quite expensive relays. These are American Zettler. They don't seem to exist anymore. But it's got a 30 ohm coil. It's the AZ4317200, which is very, very similar to one which I need. The model number is very slightly different. I think the one I've got is 205, so that's 200 in the end. I don't know what that designator means. I can't find information about that part. I'm not sure if there's a newer ever to use. I, I don't know. But they're high quality relays, and they're using a piece of test gear which I'm fixing. And you'll see a video on that within the next couple of weeks. So probably next week you'll see it, I expect. I needed one of these relays. And because I found a source of them, I got a few. So I've got a couple of spares. Because the unit's got lots of relays in it. What's in here? So if you're going to check out the links down below to buy items. Not to see anything you've seen, but anything you may be looking at buying. You can go to those sites I'm linked to. And the affiliate links help me to get extra money for the channel and help fund it. And if you want to become a Patreon and help support me as well, then there's also links down below for that. Also, check out at the end of the video. I've got some links on like the end cards of the video. And you can click on other stuff to look at some playlists and things like that. Helps the channel. The more you watch, the better my channel does. It makes a big difference. If everybody that's watching this right now goes and watch one more of my videos in this video, it will help my channel. It will give it a boost. It's surprising. I've done these before. I've featured them previously. I'm not going to be, there won't be links for these particular items. But I use these things on various bits of gear. They're quite good at bad services and things like that. So you can actually get... Uh, a good mouse tracking. I prefer Wide Mice to Wireless because of the battery whole, the whole replacing batteries or having to recharge batteries and having the battery go dead when you're trying to use it and it's just frustrating. Been there, done that, hate it. Prefer Wired Mice. Far simpler, less waste, less, you know, better for the environment, also keep on replacing batteries and that sort of stuff. So I just prefer Wired Mice. I think they're better. Really do. I'm sure there's times where Wireless is better, but in my circumstances, I've always preferred wired mice. Don't forget to subscribe, click the bell icon, become a patron, and check out my merch. I've got merch around. Go check that out. If you want to buy some merch, I've got various things with cups and shirts and singlets and things like that. All sorts of stuff. And check that out too, down on my shelf down below. I'll see you in the next video. Catch you later. Thanks for watching. Bye. Give us a thumbs up.